Hi guys, so today we're doing another Q&A video and my team has pre-selected their favorite questions that you submitted and I'm about to answer them. I'm Heather Ballantyne, sales specialist and entrepreneur. Follow me and enjoy the ride. Okay, question number one. Hi Heather, I was wondering what seats you would recommend for the Perfomonte, comfort or carbon buckets? Good question. I just so happen to have two Perfomontes in the drive-thru, why don't we go and take a look? First, let's take a look at this beautiful matte blue one. This client has chosen comfort seats. Now the benefit of this is you have a lot of adjustment available to you for the seat. You can tilt it, raise it, you have lumbar support for your back, so it truly is the more comfortable option. However, if style is your thing and you're concerned about weight, then you may prefer the sport seat. So you'll see with the sport seat, it literally is a carbon shell. There's no adjustment in the seat, only the lever here to move it forward and back. That's the only adjustment you get with this seat. So if you're very short or a tiny person, you might prefer the comfort seat because you can adjust it. Now, if you have back problems, you'll definitely prefer the comfort seat because you can use that lumbar support. However, if you're a track guy and you love the look of this seat, which I personally do, this would be my choice the sports seat. I love the style, I love the look, and it's a performante, so why not? Ah, question number two. Hi Heather, do you think Lamborghini would ever have manual transmissions again, or is that a thing of the past for the brand? Awesome channel. Well, thank you. Let's go to this car here, so I can explain the current transmissions that are in production. So like many of you, I grew up with manual transmission and occasionally I miss it. Since the creation of the paddles, honestly, nothing shifts faster than a computer. And I've really learned to love this transmission. Uh, it's very engaging, it's very fun. And um, I think if they ever came out with a manual again, it would have to be for a one-off or special edition because nowadays, this generation doesn't even know the art of manual, nor do they want it. It's a little too complicated. We're always multitasking. And I think honestly, um, Lamborghini is right by doing paddle shifting rather than manual. Oh, question number three. What is Heather's favorite classic car? Does she have one? I most certainly do. My all-time favorite would be a Lamborghini, of course. It's the Lamborghini Miura P400S. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, question number four. I do love your sales skills, especially the super luxe sales. May I know how you maintain a very good relationship with your high class clients? Thanks for your answer and advice. You're quite welcome. So it's very simple. I treat my clients the same as I would treat a friend. I give them respect, and no matter what, I'm always straight up. Whether it's good or bad news, they expect that from me. They know that I'll be straight up, I'll tell them the truth, and most importantly, I'll look after them. So cute. <laughs> Doesn't it make you want to have a baby just right so you now. can get one? Right now, one for me too. Immediately. <laughs> Question number five. Louis Vuitton or Cartier? It's a tough decision. That's hard. Can't we have both? Heather, do you want to have your own collection of cars? Yes. If so, what would your top three to five cars be in the collection? Any other brands, or are you just happy to sell and drive the demos? Well, I must admit, driving the demos is a great perk of my job. I mean, who gets that? It's a pretty awesome perk. However, I do plan to buy several cars in the next couple of years. I've been investing, as you know, into my entrepreneurial projects, but I'm definitely going to purchase my own Lamborghini Probably a 580-2 Spider. I'd like to have a Bentley GTC. I'd like to have a Rolls Royce, maybe a Wraith or a Ghost. And 
Last but not least, I need something to tote my Shiba Inus, so probably a Range Rover autobiography. Can you make your own special color for your Lamborghini, or choose the ones that are on the configurator? Actually, both. Let's go to the Ad Personum Design Studio, and I'll show you some examples. So guys, you'll see here on the wall are just a few of your options when it comes to color. They have some beautiful paints. This is a gorgeous matte red. Purple is trending now. We have lots of purples, lots of blues that are available, and all different types of finishes. Pearls, metallics, mattes. So honestly, whatever you like, it can pretty much be done. If it hasn't already been done and you want to create it, they will color match for you. Now paints can range from zero to $25,000. It all depends on what you want. This is just one example of some of the Ad Persona paints that are available now. And this will give you an idea. These all range in pricing. A lot of times clients will choose two or three that they like. Maybe they're debating between reds. I will price them for them. And then they make their final decision. So it's really up to you. If you can dream it, they can do it. Oh, you found me. So much for a quiet lunch. <laughs> hey Heather, what are some challenges you face as a sales specialist? Looking forward in hearing from you. Okay, wow, we're gonna take it deep, I guess. Challenges. Um, there's a lot of challenges as a sales specialist. Uh, one of the most important things I talked about way back when in one of my early videos is finding a balance. When you sell something um, super luxe, like Lamborghinis in my case, you're dealing with a high-end clientele and they're used to getting what they need immediately. And I want to give them whatever they need, whatever answer, as quickly as I possibly can. But you also have to take care of yourself and maintain a balance with your work and home and your life in general. You can't let it consume you. In the beginning, I would take calls all hours of the night, any time of day. I have clients calling from all over the world. It's very difficult to have a life outside of work. So I think that was one of the first challenges that I really had to tackle. And I had to make myself and time away from work a priority. As a woman in Superlux sales, I also have specific challenges um, that can involve you know, your male counterparts at work and also your clients. So as a woman, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna have to prove yourself. You might even have to work 10 times harder because when you're in a male-dominated field, uh, they expect you to know nothing. So you have to be even better than what's expected. Um, you also get hit on, that's pretty funny. I think any woman in a male-dominated industry might deal with that. So there are specific challenges uh, with regards to being a woman and you have to have a thick skin and be able to overcome that. I love what I do and I have a great relationship with my clients, so I don't deal with that anymore. In the very beginning when I was building a clientele, it was something I had to overcome and I had to establish boundaries and rules and just learn how to deal with whatever comes your way. So those were two of the most important and biggest challenges I dealt with. The last, when you're in sales, is having a comfort because when you're commission only, there's not a steady paycheck. So you need to be able to budget and work with that. Um, I'm at a point in my career where I have a very healthy income, I don't have to worry. I always sell at this point in my career, but in the beginning, I never knew when my next paycheck was coming. So if you're just starting out, keep that in mind. You might wanna have some money tucked away because when you take that leap to either be an entrepreneur or a sales specialist and your income is solely dependent on yourself and your performance, you have to be able to um, pay your bills, take care of yourself and mentally deal with that. So I think those are the top three challenges that I would advise you on and that I've had to deal with as a sales specialist. But regarding that, I love my job. It's been well worth it. All the challenges have been worth it. And now I'm in a great place. And I'm so happy I can share this advice with you. There you go. Oh, next question. Hi, Heather. Would you do a review of the maroon red spider Aventador, which is parked right next to this green Aventador? I know which car you're talking about. Sure, follow me. 
I believe the one you want me to talk about is this one. So it's a beautiful 2016 pre-owned LP700-4 Roadster. And the paint, which the viewer called Maroon Red, is a special ad personum option that's called Rosso Festo. It's a $16,000 option. If we do a little walk around, you'll see it has the 2021 inch Diantis rims, black calipers, and on the inside, a very special Elegante custom interior in Sabia Nefertem. And if you notice, it has contrast stitching and an ad personum custom request, which would be the embroidered Lamborghini crest on the headrest. So little touches like that really uh, make the car unique and stand out. I don't know about you, but I love this color combination. It's absolutely stunning. And if you're interested, it's available. Oh, hello again. I think this is our last question. Better be a good one. Can you make a video about the actual purchase of the car and more details on price, payments, interest, etc.? I would really like to know how much an Aventador or Uricon would be monthly. Sure, no problem. Why don't we take a walk to see our business and finance manager, Melissa, and she can give us an idea of pricing on Lamborghini Financial's options with lease or finance. Let's go. Hi, Melissa. Hey. Can we invade your office? I have a viewer that's asking about financing and lease. Okay. So he wants to know how much it would be for an Uricon or an Aventador. So I've worked up a couple of quotes mm -hmm. and you did the payments, right? I did. So we did the Aventador S. So this is a 2018 Lamborghini Aventador S because as you guys know, Aventador is no longer in production. You would have to buy it pre-owned. But on a new Aventador S, what would our options be? So you have the options for leasing or financing. Okay. Um, depending on kilometer wise, how you use your vehicle. Um, we can look at the financing option first. And finance would be completely open. So if you're the kind of guy that likes to roll your car very often, yeah, this is great. Yeah, you've got full control over it. You're not restricted on kilometers. It's totally There's no control. timeline with a lease. You can just basically call, call me up and say, okay, Heather, I'm done with it. Sell it for me. And then move into the next thing. Maybe an S Roadster. Who knows? So in this scenario, what's our cap on this car? This is a beautiful... 2018 Lamborghini Aventador S and pre-tax we're at 543,900. Okay, so on a finance. So finance will typically work longest term, lowest rate because it is open. You can pay it off at any time. Okay. So to get keep the payments down, um, I work two numbers: one with zero down, one with a hundred down. Okay. And your zero down payment for 6.5 years would be about $9,200 a month. Okay. And then for a hundred down, 6.5 years, you're looking at about $7,700 a month. Okay. So there is a bit of a difference there, but. I often advise my clients, if your money makes you money, which a lot of my clients it does, their money makes them anywhere from 10 to 20%, often they'll put zero down. As long as you have impeccable credit, exactly. then we could get provable that done. Provable income. Yeah, provable income is a big <laughs> one. You gotta have that. Notice of assessments, we would say here in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they just need to be able to see that you actually have that income coming in steadily, good credit, and we could do the zero down especially if your money makes you money. Exactly. Otherwise, you know, you can cater the payment really to your lifestyle yeah. and budget, right? You yeah, could put, I mean, if you've got to be within a specific amount per month, I can roll back the numbers and tell you what, need, what your down needs to be. Yeah, and often my clients will have a trade. So if you have a trade, um, that will a lot of times take care of your down payment, which will lower your monthly payment. And your taxes will benefit. Your tax, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would get the benefit of 13% on the difference if you're trading in a car. Okay, so on this same car, yeah. can we look at a lease through Lam right. Lamborghini Financial? Yeah, so Lamborghini Financials is walkaway. Yeah, so can we explain what that means yes. to the viewers? So walkaway leasing is Lamborghini guarantees the residual. So what the value of the vehicle will be at the end of your term, that's Lamborghini's guarantee. So when you're done, you hand in the keys, you walk away, and that's it. And they're quite conservative, guys, because if you crash the car, 
they still have to guarantee that residual. Exactly. So keep that in mind. A lot of clients like that option because it gives them peace of mind, especially the young ones that like to drive crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on the Lamborghini Financial lease. So I've worked to the typical terms are 36 and 48 months. Okay. Um, with zero down as well with Lamborghini Financial, you can do zero down, okay. um, which is very common. They don't usually ask for down payment. Okay. Especially if we do have the trade scenario. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this zero is realistic. Yeah. And this is worked with no trade, no money down. So right now exactly. the 36 months. So 36 month, you're about $10,000 a month. Okay. Um, and 48, you're about $8,800 a month. Okay, and our kilometers on that? Kilometers, it's, so it is restricted by 8,000 8, kilometers per year. Okay, so, so that's plenty. That's actually high for most clients with Superlux. Yeah, and I mean- Superlux sometimes four or 5,000 a year is fine. Exactly, so, yeah. so 8,000 is standard for Lamborghini Financial. Okay. You can work it with a lower kilometer mm -hmm. or you can work it with a higher kilometer. Depends okay. on how you drive. Okay. So this is not, set in stone, it's always customizable depending yeah. on how they drive. If we add anything to the vehicle, that can always be rolled into lease or finance. And something to consider with like the 36 month, if you wanted to use four one year and then 12 the next, it doesn't matter. Exactly. You've got eight per year. So you can kind of stretch that out as needed depending on what you're doing, you know, if you're going on a rally that year or whatever. Exactly. Okay, great. So that's our numbers for the 2018 Aventador S. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. To a more entry level Lamborghini. Okay, so we worked the same um, format as we did with the other one. So for the finance, both zero and 100 down. Okay, and this is a 2017 Lamborghini Huracan 580 2 Spider. You guys know this car well. It's been our demo. I've used this car in many videos, and now it's available for sale. So on a finance. So on a finance, again, for 6.5 years, mm -hmm. um, because again, longest term, lowest rate, gives mm -hmm. you the lower payment. With zero down, you're fifty-four hundred dollars a month. Okay. So, and because this is our demo, we do have Stone Guard um, oh, on the vehicle, nice. so our essentials package. Yeah. Um, so that is rolled into the finance as well, so it doesn't come out of pocket in one big lump sum. And that's a good point. So Melissa also does um, after sales protection products. Um, yeah. Rim and tire protection, if you want a geofence tracking on your phone. So any of those products that you work with um, and decide to purchase through her, she can roll it into your payment. Mm -hmm. Right now, the Aventador S, we did without those sort of products, but the demo, fortunately, already has Stone Guard. Yes, demo, that is a must. Okay, so moving on to the next one, it's 100K down, yes. right? On a finance as well, longest term? Longest term, lowest rate, and okay. you're looking at $3,900 a month. Okay, great. All right, so that's very doable. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have a trade, maybe you have a Gallardo trade, it's probably worth the 100K. Yeah. And then you can move into a brand new 580 2 Spider for under 4K a month. And remember, exactly. we're in CAD, guys. Yes. So uh, your US dollar goes a long way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the lease okay, of so the again, same Spider. Same vehicle, um, same format, 36 months and 48 months. Mm -hmm. Um, for 36 months, you're looking at $6,600 a month. Okay. And for 48 months, it's about $6,100 a month. Okay. Yeah, so again, these, these are just some rough numbers for you that Melissa worked. Obviously, we have a lot of options when it comes to lease and finance. Once you choose the car, we can cater those options to your lifestyle and budget. Yeah, so just as your car is customizable, so is your payments. Good to know. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching my Q&A video. Be sure to comment below and don't be afraid to keep asking me questions because you never know, I may choose it for a future Q&A video. And if you'd like to know more about our Lamborghini brand, make sure to come and see me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto. Thanks for watching my video guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I can't wait to have you along for the journey.